Hello, everybody. Join me as I explore the intriguing world of Caribbean creatures and monsters, delve into myths and legends where magic and mystery reign. Get ready for a captivating journey into the heart of Caribbean folklore. Ligaru. The Ligaru finds its roots in the folklore of Grenada and is akin to the werewolf of European tales. It is depicted as a human who can transform into various animals, often taking the form of a large, fearsome dog. The legend likely emerged from the blend of African and French cultures during the colonial era. In these tales, the Ligaru is often a bloodthirsty creature, roaming at night to suck the blood of its victims, symbolizing the fear of the unknown and the dark. La Diablesse Originating from Caribbean folklore, particularly in Trinidad and Tobago, La Diablesse is a demonic figure. Portrayed as a stunning woman with one cloven hoof hidden beneath her long gown, she lures men into remote or dangerous places. The legend of La Diablesse arose as a cautionary tale, symbolizing the perils of temptation and the punishment for succumbing to seductive but harmful influences. Her role in folklore is to ensnare and lead astray often resulting in the demise of her victims. Souchiant Hailing from the folklore of several Caribbean islands, the Souchiant is a shape-shifting, blood-sucking hag. By day, she appears as an old woman, but by night, she transforms into a fireball, seeking victims to drain their blood. The legend of the Souchiant possibly serves as an allegory for disease outbreaks, with her role being akin to a malevolent witch spreading misfortune and sickness, embodying the fear of the unseen and misunderstood aspects of illness. Rolling Calf In Jamaican folklore, the rolling calf is a terrifying, chain-bearing creature. It's described as a large, calf-like beast with eyes that blaze like fire, often wrapped in chains that clank eerily. The rolling calf is believed to be the spirit of a person who was wicked in life, now doomed to roam the earth. Its role in folklore is that of an ominous spectre, reminding people of the consequences of moral transgressions and the belief in restless, malevolent spirits. Steel Donkey The Steel Donkey, a lesser-known entity from Barbadian folklore, is depicted as a mechanical donkey made of steel. This creature is said to appear at night, particularly near crossroads, and has the ability to change size. The legend of the steel donkey might represent the fear and mystique surrounding the advent of industrialization, symbolizing the unknown and potentially harmful impact of new technologies on traditional ways of life. Its role in tales is often to confound and bewilder those who encounter it. Anansi Anansi, a central figure in Akan folklore from Ghana, later permeating the Caribbean folklore through the transatlantic slave trade, is a trickster spider. Anansi is often depicted as a spider with human characteristics and is renowned for his intelligence, cunning and ability to turn the tables on larger, more powerful adversaries. The tales of Anansi originated as a means to inspire hope and resilience, offering moral lessons. Anansi's role is multifaceted, serving as a symbol of rebellion, wisdom and the enduring human spirit. Mama Delo. Mama Delo, a captivating figure in the folklore of Trinidad and Tobago, is depicted as a beautiful yet fearsome mermaid or snake-like entity. She is the protector of rivers and streams, often portrayed with long flowing hair and a serpent's tail. The legend of Mama Delo arose as a personification of the power and mystery of water bodies, symbolizing the respect and caution one must have for nature. Her role is dual-natured, sometimes benevolent, nurturing the aquatic life, and other times vengeful towards those who harm her domain. Papa Boys In the folklore of St Lucia and Trinidad and Tobago, Papa Boys is revered as the guardian of the forests. Often depicted as a robust old man with a beard made of leaves and twigs, he is the protector of all wildlife. The legend likely emerged as a way to teach respect for the environment, embodying the spirit of conservation and stewardship of nature. Papa Boys is seen as a benevolent figure, guiding lost travellers and ensuring the balance of nature is maintained. Jumbi Jumbies are supernatural beings in the folklore of many Caribbean islands. 
They are often thought as malevolent spirits or ghosts of the deceased who have unresolved business. Their depictions vary, with some being shapeless entities while others assume human-like forms. The origin of Jumbi tales can be traced to African beliefs, serving as a way to explain unaccountable misfortunes and the concept of life after death. Their role is primarily as disruptors, haunting the living and causing general mischief or harm. Lagahu The Lagahu, from Trinidadian folklore, is a shapeshifter, similar to the European werewolf. It's typically described as a man who can transform into various animals, but most commonly a dog with a chain around its waist. The legend of the Lagahu might reflect the fear of the unknown and the dual nature of man. In folklore, it is often associated with ominous events, roaming at night and creating unsettling noises, symbolising the hidden, darker aspects of human nature. Duppy Duppies are ghosts or spirits in Jamaican folklore, believed to be the souls of the dead. They can be both benign and malevolent, with their depictions varying from ethereal, shadowy figures to more physical, zombie-like forms. The concept of duppies likely has roots in both African traditions and European superstitions. In Jamaican culture, they are often seen as remnants of the past, influencing the living either by offering guidance or causing trouble, representing the ongoing influence of ancestors and the past on present-day life. River Mummer The River Mummer is a pivotal figure in Jamaican folklore, often associated with the origins and protection of rivers. She is typically depicted as a mermaid with long flowing hair, guarding the living creatures in her river. The legend of River Mummer serves as a symbolic representation of the life-giving and sustaining properties of rivers. Her role in folklore is predominantly as a guardian, ensuring the purity and sanctity of the water she inhabits, and she is often revered in local rituals and stories for her protective nature. Baku Originating from Guyanese folklore, the Baku is described as a mischievous dwarf-like creature, often found trapped in a bottle. It is said to grant wishes in exchange for bananas and milk, but can also cause trouble if not appeased. The legend of the Baku could be interpreted as a metaphor for the unpredictable nature of fortune, both good and bad. Its role in stories varies from being a trickster to a wish granter, reflecting the dual nature of chance and the importance of appeasing unknown forces. Chikchani Found in the folklore of the Bahamas, the Chikchani is a mythical bird-like creature reputed to live in the forests of the Andros Island. It is depicted as a large, owl-like being with red eyes, long legs and three-toed prehensile feet. The origin of the Chikchani legend may stem from sightings of actual bird species interwoven with mythical elements. Its role in local tales is often tied to luck. Treating a Chikchani well could bring good fortune, while disrespecting it could lead to misfortune, embodying the belief in respecting nature for harmony and prosperity. Luska The Luska is a fearsome sea monster in Caribbean folklore, particularly in the Bahamas, where it is said to inhabit the Blue Holes. It's often depicted as a giant octopus or a half-shark, half-octopus creature lurking in the deep waters. The legend of the Luska possibly arose from the fear and awe of the unknown depths of the ocean. In folklore, its role is primarily as a fearsome predator, embodying the dangers lurking in unexplored or mysterious parts of the natural world. That's it for our adventure with Caribbean creatures and monsters. If you enjoyed this journey into myth and mystery, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Your support keeps the legends alive. Thanks for watching and stay curious for more tales from around the world. Yours truly, Mythos, the Historian.